Hey guys, Ernie here, Paleo Hiker MD, and it's been a little while since I made a video, so I thought I'd make a new one today. And we're going to look at some ultralight type backpacking stoves, or in general, just alcohol stoves. We're going to put three alcohol stoves that I own up to the test. Uh, we're going to look at all three of them. What we have today, we've seen before on the channel, is just a pretty typical soda can stove. Um, it's fairly small does not have anything in the wall as far as wicking. We've got my Fancy Feast cat can stove with a um, cat can on the outside, the tomato paste can on the inside, and then in between is carbon felt. And then last and my newest addition to the family is a basic Trangia spirit stove. So we're gonna look at these three stoves. We're going to uh, put one and a half ounces of heat or, uh, alcohol in them and we're going to boil two cups of water each of the cups of water will start at about 70 degrees which is what I just checked my tap is about 70 degrees and of course it's going to go up to 212 we're going to do it in my new Ollie camp stainless steel um, uh, pot kit it's very nice uh, inexpensive it's got a, a bale on it so you can hang it over an open fire if you want to and uh, we're going to use that along with the same pot stove which is just some of this um, fabric wire uh, I'm gonna put it over the top of the flame so stay tuned we're gonna take a look at these three stoves and see how they stack up as far as how long it takes to get a boil how long they overall burn and uh, we'll see what we get all right guys so here we go first up is our soda can stove as you can see actually my temperature is 80 degrees and I misspoke earlier, I said I was going to use one and a half ounces, but I'm actually going to use one ounce of alcohol. So let's light this up. Let this bloom. Go ahead and put our pot holder over the top. This should bloom fairly quickly because it's still warm from my prior burn because I forgot to turn on the timer. All right, guys, so we're ready to go. We're going to put this on top and start our timer all right guys so here we are at two minutes and we are at 142 degrees so not too bad all right it's boiling guys i'm not sure what happened we'll call it boiling at four minutes 13 seconds because i can hear it boiling and it's out at five minutes 13 seconds so to review we got 142 degrees at 2 minutes, 212 degrees boiling at 4 minutes 13 seconds, and we were out of fuel at 5 minutes 13 seconds. So let's check out the Ket can stove. All right, guys, so here we are with the Ket can stove. We're going to go ahead and put this on. We don't have to wait for this to bloom because it works pretty well from the get go. So we're going to light it up. Put it on, start our timer. See again, we're starting at 80 degrees and we will see where we go from here. All right guys, so we're coming up on two minutes. We've got 125 degrees. Guys, there's 210. We're gonna call that done. I'm not sure why it's not going up, but it is boiling at 212 at five minutes. All right, flame is still going strong at seven minutes. Starting to see some color in the felt, which means we are about to go out. Still a little flame in the center. And out at eight minutes, four seconds. So let's go on to the next one. All right, guys, we're back at 80 degrees. We've got one ounce of alcohol in our Trangia spirit stove. Light that up. Give it one second. Prime up. Here we go. We're going to get this on. Start our timer. All right, guys, coming up on two minutes, and we've got 111 degrees at two minutes. All right, guys, we're at 210, 211. I can see it boiling in there. We have the same error, and we're going to call it at six minutes, seven seconds. All right, starting to lose our flame. No longer have flame out of the jets, just out of the center. And out at 1018. 
All right, so let's talk about what we learned. All right, guys, so that concludes our test, and we'll go over the data here just to show you guys what we got and what we learned. But first, I just want to take a chance to show you guys this Ollie Camp kettle. Um, it's really nice. It's got two parts to it. It's got this main kettle part. It's a one liter um, capacity. And like I said, it's got this very nice, very sturdy, it locks into place, as you can see, bale handle. Uh, the top is basically a little frying pan, certainly big enough to uh, cook two eggs, uh, fry a little sausage, cook a little bannock, whatever it is you want to make, very nice. Uh, considering the fact that this I uh, bought off of Amazon for less than $20, I can tell you that that's a pretty good deal. If you're curious on how much it weighs, so am I, because I've never actually weighed it, so let's check it out. So this weighs 12.65 ounces. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll tell you it says 12.65 ounces. So not bad, it's not ultra light, but at the same time it does carry both a nice size pot and a very nice cooking pan or a frying pan. So anyway, let's look at the three stoves that we looked at today. We'll go over again real quick the numbers, and I'll put them at the bottom of the screen for you guys. The soda can stove, uh, at two minutes it was 142 degrees. It was boiling 212 degrees at 4 minutes 13 seconds, and it flamed out at 5 minutes 13 seconds. So, boils very hot, gets water up very quickly, but also is very inefficient, and burns out the fastest with only just over 5 minutes of burn time on 1 ounce of fuel. The cat can stove. Again, very simple. Uh, I made this cat can stove to basically be the same height as a Trangia. This, with one ounce of fuel, it brought uh, the water to 125 degrees at two minutes, 212 degrees boiling at five minutes, and off at eight minutes, four seconds. So, a little bit slower than the soda can, but it lasted a full three minutes almost longer with the one ounce of fuel. And lastly is our Trangia stove. It got to only 111 degrees at two minutes. It took six minutes and seven seconds to boil, which is the longest of the three, but it had the longest burn time at 10 minutes, 18 seconds. So another two minutes more than the cat can stove for burning time on one ounce. So which of these is the best? Well, I don't really think there is a best. I don't think that's exactly what we're going for. What we've learned is the different characteristics. If you're looking for something to just boil water as fast as you possibly can, maybe this is your best bet. But you're gonna to have to carry more fuel if you have more prolonged periods that you need to cook, or you wanna cook more than one thing as opposed to in, instead of just boiling water. This is a good intermediate because it does last longer and it runs a little hotter. Now this one lasts the longest, the Trangia, and it has a couple of benefits that the others don't have. The main one is, well, two main ones. First, it comes with this simmer ring, as you guys have seen. Basically, you can adjust the flame. So obviously, this went 10 minutes, 18 seconds with uh, one ounce of fuel wide open. It would go much longer, say, at half or even less if you were simmering something. The other major advantage is this actual top, so that if you are burning and you're done, you can just throw this on top and you've got yourself a killed flame and the residual fuel right on the inside. So those are the two big benefits of something like a Trangia. Once you keep your fuel and you let it cool off, you can screw on the lid, stow it away, and continue to have fuel in there. You can even carry fuel in here uh, as opposed to having to carry in another um, device. Now, one quick thing to think about is weight because a lot of times I do go ultra light. And I'll tell you guys what the weights are. This little stove right here weighs 0.35 ounces, 0.35 ounces. This one weighs 0.8 ounces, okay? And lastly, this one will be beastly at 3.9 ounces. These don't have any fuel in them. So, you see the difference. The fastest, the lightest, the least efficient, the kind of mid-range, still very light and fast and longer burn time, 
and the longest burn time, the most efficient and the most flexibility, but at a price of very much more weight than these two smaller ones. So that's what we learned today in our test. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. These are the kind of videos I love. I love watching them on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about these three stoves. Uh, two stoves you can make yourself, one that you can buy for very inexpensively, $15 or less on Amazon. I think uh, we learned a little bit about each one. They each have their own place in my uh, kit and where I take them. And I hope that uh, it's the same for you guys. So I appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned to Paleo Hiker MD for more videos soon. And uh, we'll talk soon on more things backpacking and alcohol stoves and ultralight. Thanks a lot.